Now we made it to SeaWorld Orlando and we're going to show you if it's worth it to purchase the dining plan. We went right up after entering the park in the front to get the dining plan, but there's a bunch of spots you can go to, and then this is also a spot for the refillable drinks. This is the Seafire Grill. It's next to the Dolphin Nursery, and you can technically get food every hour. We didn't because we did other things, but I would take advantage as much as you can. So for the all-day dining deal, it is $44.99 for adults, $22.99 for children. We are a party of five, and we ended up getting two adult and one child because that's enough really to eat. You can get well, every hour one entree, one beverage, and one dessert for each person you buy the dining plan for. And these are the options here at the Seafire Grill. Okay, this is the first option. Chicken tenders, wings, chicken salad, sandwich, wrap. Lots of chicken, it looks like. So we're gonna try something from here with that deal, that dining deal, and then go to the next place in an hour. All right, so we got some fruit cups. Looks like French fries, mac and cheese, a bigger fruit cup, and chicken and French fries. They have the honey mustard okay. behind the register, so you have to ask for honey mustard. Okay. I didn't see ranch, but I got barbecue and ketchup. Buddy boy, how's the mac and cheese? Good. Good. Do you like the mac and cheese? Is it creamy? Um, yeah, you like the fruit. The fruit's good. Uh, it actually tastes like Stover's. Stover's mac and cheese is good. Oh, the french fries are good and the chicken's good. It's really like meaty. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> now just a tip when you walk in here, go through the other side. So over here because everyone goes on this side and you're going to want to go to the other side. There was like no wait. Hey, so hey. right across from the penguin ride and exhibit is the expedition, expedition cafe. Teriyaki chicken okay, with stir fries. fry. Oh, yeah, the stir fry and the egg roll. My only two real big issues so far have been the lack of shape. At least out here in this one. In this area. Well, there are a couple other areas that could have probably yeah. a little bit more shape. Yeah. And um, if you're sensitive skin like me, that's something you gotta think about. And then the other is uh, this is the second place with no ice. Yeah, there hasn't been any ice. So uh, I wouldn't put, you know, apple juice or something like that in these cups because it's gonna get really warm. I just got water. Yeah, they don't hold their they don't hold cold very well at all. Yeah. So mm. but if you eat, I would say at least three times, it does pay for itself. Um, we just have to we just have to find all the different spots because we're not we don't know this park as well as we know Universal and Disney. In the map you have to the, the app you have to keep um, logging in. Yeah, logging in. So it's not the app isn't very helpful. Mm. Yeah. Do you like the mac and cheese better or the pizza better? All of it. I think you guys, I think the mac and cheese kind of tastes a little bit better. This pizza's okay. You know, it's just a standard pizza. Standard pizza. This uh, grandma said tasted like jello. Jello instant. Jello instant. Jello instant. Yeah, jello, jello, uh, not instant, but the jello cheesecake. Bye. And then uh, we'll try the carrot cake in a minute. She said it was really good. So Very we'll moist. see if the kids like that one. Okay, let's see what the kids think of the dessert. So we were heading towards a burger place and the website says the park closes at 7 but certain restaurants close an hour before. Well we find out that most of the restaurants close 90 minutes before which was not accurate to the website. So this part of the park is closed at 5.30 so be aware you're going to have to check the times that the restaurants close. 
lot, so Lakeshore is closed as well at 6 o'clock. So we're trying to see what we can get for the next hour because there's really not a lot. There's Voyagers. We actually found something over here by the, sea, the pet stadium. We found out they were closed as well. So if you get the dining plan, you really need to eat early. So this is literally the only thing that is open now for the last hour of the park. And there's a long line, of course, because this is the only thing open. So back to our first stop, but we're gonna get a couple of different things. For desserts, they have the cheesecake and the fruit, and then they have a salad if you don't want that. And then there was a lot of chicken and fish options. But beware, in the last hour, they do run out of things like the chicken wings. This is the third stop. Everything was closed. We had to come back, but we got salad instead of the french fries for two, so no, instead of the fruit. But we got one fruit, two salads, crispy chicken sandwich, crispy fish sandwich, and then mac and cheese and the fries. So Grandma, what did you think of the food today? Um, the food was good. Um, it would have been nice if they would have told us the park hours. Yeah. Because the places that we wanted to go eat um, were closed. Yes. So that was very frustrating and I was hangry. Yes. Um, and then a couple places didn't have ice. It yeah, really I mentioned weird. that. Yeah. The last place we ate was the first place that we ate. Um, it was good food. The food was they just good. They needed like sauces and well, stuff. They, yeah, they were out of their sauces. So you had fish sandwich with no tartar sauce. Yeah. Which is kind of silly and probably illegal in some states. <laughs> so um, it was good, but I was very frustrated. Is it worth the deal? If you eat a lot, yeah, it was good. Okay. It really was. So uh, just make sure you get your money out. Make sure you know the park hours. Yeah. Um, we wasted a lot of time trying to find a place open in that. Yep, I think it's because of Hollow Screams is now starting. Hopefully on nights that Hollow Screams is not here, maybe it'll be easier. I would say you have to eat at least three times for it to be worth your money. Uh, if you don't eat three times, don't get it. But you have to eat at least that many times for it to be worth the $40 for adults and 20 for kids. Now we will be back. I want to try the other restaurants that were closed that we did miss. And I almost want to try a challenge, like if I actually do get food every hour, how, how much I can really get. So stay tuned for something like that. Let me know in the comments as well what you would like to see.